While there are some people who may be concerned about the origins of Halloween and its focus on blood, death, horror, and the occult, to millions of youngsters across the nation, it has been adopted as a time to pursue scary fun. It is an opportunity to dress up in ghoulish or fanciful costumes, to engage in the fantasy of being a witch or a vampire, ghost or devil. Eager trick-or-treaters solicit candy door-to-door -door or bob for apples at Halloween parties. Others brave haunted houses and horror movie marathons, while the more daring visit cemeteries at midnight, play with Ouija boards, and hold seances in an effort to contact spirits of the dead. One of the biggest promoters of Halloween is the public school system. School-sponsored Halloween-themed activities often include dances, costume contests, carnivals, and arts and crafts projects. Education officials admit that more effort is usually put into the celebration of Halloween than any other holiday, including Christmas and Easter. Is the stimulation of a child's sense of fun and fear all there is to Halloween, or is there more? For many entrepreneurs, Halloween is big business, a major promotional event used to bring in billions of dollars worth of revenue. In addition to the usual costumes of cartoon characters for children, a growing number of outlets are featuring more macabre and sinister creations for purchase. This one well-known department store chain will sell more than half a billion dollars worth of Halloween paraphernalia this year. And that doesn't include revenue from the sales of trick-or-treat candy. Costume shops such as this one are able to stay in business year-round as a result of the tremendous sales and rentals they receive during the Halloween rush. Farmers also view Halloween with an eye toward making big profits. Pumpkins are a traditional Halloween accessory used by households nationwide as jack-o'-lantern decorations. This one Southern California field of only 164 acres will yield nearly a quarter of a million dollars to its owner. Halloween is manipulated by the promoters of horror movies and videos as a major marketing opportunity. While horror films used to be synonymous with B-movies, and considered the conventional low-budget industry standby, today they account for nearly 20% of all of the revenue received by feature film producers and distributors. The success of the technical revolution in special effects has attracted serious film directors to produce well-crafted, elaborate horror productions. A recent visit to the Video Software Dealers Association exhibition in Las Vegas showed that the two biggest selling artistic genres were pornography and horror. Hollywood is continuing to capitalize on society's growing craving for the occult and demonic. The irony is that while these producers label such films as fun and make-believe, many of them hire practicing witches or Satanists as technical advisors who ensure the authentic reproductions and performances of rituals, sacrifices, spells, and curses. People like are, are so hyper during the day, they need to come home and watch something that's like totally unreal so they can release themselves from all the pressures. It's just the type of thing that makes you laugh and forget about life. Over the last two decades, most horror films have become far more graphic in their depictions of violence and cruelty. Movies affectionately known as splatter films routinely detail torture and dismembering of bodies, drinking of blood, cannibalism, rape, and a host of other grotesque atrocities. Well, we think it's pretty fun. A lot of people just like it because it's fun, it's wacko, it's not real, and so it's just the type of thing that people like to watch because you don't have to think reality when you watch it. When it comes to gore or splatter or any other particular genres, the justification lies in our Constitution. I don't feel anybody has the right to tell me what I can or cannot watch. Most of these films receive R ratings, which mean that children under 17 cannot view the film or rent the video without the accompaniment of an adult. Yet this precaution is seldom enforced. 
For 15 is the average age of those who see these films. While many producers claim that these gruesome spectaculars are merely fun and not dangerous to the psyche of our youth, many of the scenarios from the horror films are duplicated in copycat crimes which make for sensational headlines. 